Welcome everyone. This is Greg Rall from Centra. Glad to have you aboard for our webinar today. A lot of people still jumping on, but we're going to get started to respect those who showed up on time. Um, want to let you know a few things, some ground rules here. First of all, take note of the question panel that you see on, on your screen there. That question panel we'll be using later on. We prefer if you not start asking questions right away because it uh, floods us up with questions. We've got several hundred people we're expecting on the webinar, and um, we know that we're going to be covering a lot of material today in the webinar, so that your, your question will probably be answered up front. Um, we also have a, a ticket giveaway going on, as I think you're probably aware. One round trip ticket to Paris from a U.S. gateway, so you want to find out how to win that. And what you're going to do is listen very closely to the webinar because somewhere in this webinar, you're gonna hear a piece of information that our guest is going to ask you a question at the end. And the first one to type the answer in that question panel will be the winner. So take note of the question panel, but hold off on your questions till after. We'll do a question as Q and A, we'll do that after the contest. So order of service here, we've got the webinar and we've got the, the contest and then we've got uh, the Q&A going on at the end of it. All right, I wanna also mention that uh, French V Airline has a Facebook page. We would really like you to, to jump on that and like that and follow, and that will get you acquainted with, uh, with them and get you connected with French V going forward. So, all right, without further ado, uh, we're gonna bring on our special guest who is waiting in the green room to come out and entertain us with information about French V Airline. That would be Caroline Le Verrier, Le Verrier, I think I just butchered her name. I was practicing and I blew it. So Caroline, why don't you come on and correct me? <laughs> you know, can you hear me? Yes, we can. Hi, Greg. You didn't, you didn't butcher my name. So I did okay. <laughs> um, yeah, you did, you did perfect actually. That's, that's, that's it. It's Caroline Le Verrier and I am the um, sales manager West for French B Airlines. I am so happy to be here. Greg, thank you so much for organizing this for us. And thank you to all of you that are here. I hope you're ready, you're comfortable with your cup of coffee or tea, whatever your poison is. Um, and before I talk more about French B, I'd like to introduce myself. I am the newest edition, the newest family member, if you will, of French B. Um, and um, I, I am not from the aviation world per se, but I am from the travel industry. I worked for DMCs for a very long time. And um, so while um, this is a little bit new to me as well, and I'm, I'm, I'm learning a lot, which is great, um, I am keenly aware of the uh, needs and wants of the North American market, specifically when it comes to travel. Um, so um, with that, let's talk a little bit more about French B. Some of you may already be familiar with the airline. Um, some of you may have um, actually had the opportunity to fly it or book it for your clients. And some of you may not know about French B, um, which is, uh, would be uh, somewhat normal because we are a fairly young company. Uh, let me see. I can't seem to give me a sec. I don't know why I can't seem to. Okay, here we go. Uh, sorry about that. So we started operating, French B specifically started operating in 2016. Um, although we are the sister airline of Air Caraibe, which has been flying since 2000. So, um, um, so we are currently French B. I like to say that French B is currently the only airline that um, exclusively uses um, Airbus 350s, uh, extra wide bodies. We have six brand new, but we also have Air Caraibes fleet. So, um, so that is you. You kind of get to see the entirety of our fleet here. Um, a little bit about our routes. So we actually started flying to uh, the, the Réunion Island in 2016. So that is our, our Air Caraïbe uh, legacy. I don't know if any of you are familiar with uh, La Réunion Island, but it is a French territory. It's a beautiful island located east of Madagascar. 
And, um, and so in 2016, French Bee started flying from Paris Orly to La Réunion. And, um, and then we decided to expand. So um, the, we ex and we expanded in the US. So our first actually gateway that we opened in the US was um, San Francisco. And uh, our first destination that we flew to was actually another beautiful island, also another French territory, uh, to Tahiti, Papiete. So for any of you who are uh, Tahiti specialists or just book Tahiti, know that we have uh, flights to Tahiti, to Papiete. And um, so, so that's the first uh, route that opened. So Paris to San Francisco to Papiete. And, um, and then we opened more gateways in the US. So in 2021, when things were getting a little better pandemic wise, let's say we opened Newark. And then in 2022, our, our sort of uh, babies, we just actually celebrated uh, on, on May 1st, uh, the one year anniversary of our LAX route. And, um, and then of course, Miami, as you can see. So four US gateways and all going to uh, uh, Paris Orly. And I say Orly because as um, I'm sure most of you know, and some of you may not, uh, there are several airports in Paris too. There is Charles de Gaulle in Orly, and Orly is the smaller, more convenient one. Uh, Orly is about 20 minutes outside of Paris versus about 45 minutes to an hour if you're looking at Charles de Gaulle. So it's um, cheaper to get into the city by uh, transfer. If you're if you're getting a private transfer for your clients, it's also quicker. And the airport itself is also more manageable because it's smaller. You go through custom and customs and immigration quicker. So all around Orly is a very very convenient airport to land in in Paris. So a little bit about our schedules as well. Now that you know about our routes. Um, so this is um, uh, our, our flight schedule, if you will. Um, there's lots of numbers and stuff, but I just wanted to go over a, a few things. The, the main thing really is just that, you know, French B since 2016 basically has been increasingly, you know, adding obviously routes, but also consistently increasing uh, flight frequencies too. So just this year, we increased the number of flights from Newark and we'll be operating daily flights. Well, we started operating daily flights starting in April. We've also increased flights from LAX to five and six a weeks to daily in May. We're adding a second flight to and from San Francisco and we'll operate six weeks, uh, six flights weekly for the summer season. And of course we have our San Francisco to Tahiti flights that operate as usual three times a week as is our newest uh, Miami route. So that just gives you a little bit of an idea of our schedules. And also, and I know Greg, you mentioned that you got this question actually before the webinar, which is great, perfect segue, because um, uh, I know people are interested to know, well, do you have um, you know, um, uh, partnerships with other airlines? And we do, we actually partner with Alaska. So if you do have clients that are departing from Denver or Houston or Chicago, you know, we can do everything on a through fare ticket. Um, so, so that's, that's a possibility. So I think Alaska connects over, I think 80, 98 cities in the U S and then also in Tahiti, again, for those of you who are familiar with Tahiti and who book Tahiti, we are, we also have a partnership with the local carrier air Tahiti. So for your clients that, you know, land in Papiete, of course, you know, everybody who's been to Tahiti or books, it knows that you don't stay in Papiete, you go to, uh, Morea and Bora Bora and all the beautiful other islands and um, and so we're able to do that all in the same ticket as well and we also have a partnership with the famous um, SNCF in France so um, it's our it's our national train network system and um, and we are able provided that your clients take the train within 24 hours of landing uh, at Orly, we can on the same ticket actually add the train ticket. So if your clients land in Paris, but they don't stay in Paris, and let's say they want to go to Avignon and they want to go to Aix-en-Provence or Nice or Caen or even Brussels in Belgium for that matter, we can actually do that on the same 
ticket, uh, which is very convenient as you know, as I'm sure you have a lot of clients who've been to Paris a million times and who'd like to venture outside of um, the most beautiful city in the world, I will say, uh, then it's, uh, it's, it's nice to know that you have that possibility. Um, it is the, the, so a couple people have asked um, recently when I've talked about this, so I'll answer the question now in case it gets asked, um, that seat reservations are always included with the train, with the, the TGV trains, the high-speed rail in France, so you don't have to worry about that. And uh, and it's second class, which if any of you have taken the train in France, it's perfectly, it's a great, it's a great way to travel. Second class doesn't, it's, it's a very comfortable um, train ride. So um, when I joined French B a few months ago, my colleagues, you know, uh, that was one of the things I heard, you know, was it's a new way of flying. That was the slogan that I heard my colleagues said that, and I wondered what, what that meant. So what that means is that we are a low fare, long haul airline, and we're the only one. And so we do use state of the art fleet featuring the latest innovations for the maximum comfort. And I say this, and I'm I'm going to spend a little bit of time on this because I think it's super important. When you hear low fare, uh, especially the U.S. market has a little bit, you know, sometimes there can be that connotation of like, well, what's the catch? What are we compromising on? You know, what what are we not getting compared to a legacy airline? There is no catch, and I'll go through the reasons. There's basically two reasons why we're consistently cheaper than our competition. And, um, and those two reasons have nothing to do with um, comfort. It's really just about our business model. That's different. Um, but like I said earlier, we do, we are the only airline at this point who has exclusive and you know pretty brand new Airbus 350s extra wide body. Um, they're very comfortable, clean, um, and like, like I mean, I've uh, had the opportunity to fly, of course, already in both economy and economy plus, uh, which are the two classes of service that we have. But um, and it, it's it's they're extremely comfortable flights, and the um, the planes are just wonderful. So the quality is definitely there. Um, and in fact, let's talk a little bit more about the Airbus. So some of the things that um, are great with this Airbus is the cabins are more spacious, the windows are larger, there's increased noise insulation, there's mood lighting, the whole plane, it's all LED lighting, 20% um, more fresh air and draft-free air conditioning and improved tank temperature control. And all these things, you know, it's it just words like this and you think, well, what does that really do? Because it sounds, you know, fancy, but well, what it does is it actually affects jet lag. And um, I have a little anecdote about that because I have 18 month old twins. So traveling for me, as much as I am having a great time doing this job, there's travel involved. And, you know, any of you who have small children, it's it's always, you know, you're always a little bit like, okay, it's, it's just a lot, right? Um, and especially when there's jet lag involved, because I'm already sleep deprived. So, you know, whenever I have to go to Paris for work and I think, well, I'm going to have to deal with the jet lag and then coming back and taking care of the kids, it's a lot. Um, well, it really, it really does affect. And my colleagues told me this before I left to Paris. They said, you'll see, you won't suffer from jet lag the way you, you have in the past. And it's true. I actually can personally attest um, this very fact because I myself did not suffer from jet lag, which you know, is actually a big deal, especially if you're traveling and not staying very long in somewhere. Um, as U.S. travelers do, they go there for a week, 10 days max. It's kind of nice to be able to, you know, not be in pain the first couple days because, you know, you're dealing with jet lag. Um, and another great achievement that we're really proud of and uh, is that we are actually 25% lower than legacy airlines when it comes to uh, CO2 emission per seat. And in fact, um, 
sorry, trying to get to my next slide here. And I'm having, there we go. Um, we have been ranked by the IBA as number one as the, uh, and so this is just last year. This is not, you know, not, these aren't numbers from like five years ago. This is just last year we were rated number one by the IBA to, for the, as the company that emits the least amount of CO2 per seat uh, per mile. So it's, it's really an awesome achievement. We know that obviously airlines, the airline industry is one of the most polluting industry, but we, we do our part. We try to do our part and we are very um, pleased with, with this achievement. And, you know, before I go into this slide, I would like to mention that that is one of the reasons actually that we are um, consistently cheaper. It's actually because our, uh, because we save on fuel and about 25%, we are able to pass along some of that cost saving onto the final price. So there is no, you know, catch or, you know, um, uh, bait and switch or anything like that. It's simply one of the reasons is because we are fuel efficient and we're more fuel efficient due to the specific aircraft that we use, which is the Airbus 350. So, um, and the other reason, is because we don't have a business class. We have two classes, we have two cabins, we have the economy cabin and we have the economy plus cabin. And um, and so, and the reason why we're, we're able to, um, to, to, to be cheaper on that level, why does it have to do with business class? Because business class, or not having a business class, it's because business class seats take up a lot of space on a plane so when you remove them you can put more seats and you can sell more tickets so that's it folks that's the two reasons that's that's the big secret um so in terms again of quality of service in terms of quality of aircraft in terms of quality quality of you know um after service whatever it is there's there's really no significant difference it's really just those two reasons in, in which basically make up the business model of French Bee that explain the lower um, fares. So here's a, a, a nice look at our, at our Airbus. You can see the, the premium cabin and then the economy cabin. So there's a, a, an orange section, and I know that's gonna be some of the questions because I get that a lot. So what is that orange section? It's what we call our cozy cabin. It's basically the equivalent of our of the quiet car on the on the train because it's what they call the quiet car on the train because it's located at the front of the plane. It's actually just uh, a lot more quiet, and um, and you get to um, get on the plane and get off the plane um, before before um, before basically before everyone else. So you get that extra kind of service. Uh, so 411 seats total, premium seats, there's 35, and economy, 376. Um, and if you look now at our premium cabin, um, so you can just, just some pictures here to show, and sorry, I'm trying to get rid of this little pesky window on my screen. Uh, larger windows, more comfortable seats, extra large HD screens. You can see very clean, comfortable um, cabin. And uh, I like these pictures. So uh, somebody had asked me, a, a colleague of mine said, well, I don't know. It's just pictures. There's no text. Maybe we were, I like them because I, it, it's in service. Um, uh, flight, you can see them, you know, the crew kind of doing their thing. It's a relaxed, um, very laid back environment. Our, our, and that's actually something else that we're super proud of. The proof is in the pudding. You can go on any, um, you know, consumer review websites such as TripAdvisor and, and whatnot, and you'll see the reviews that, and the, you know, the, the number of five stars that our crew gets is just, um, we just get a lot, they get a lot of accolades for their service. They're, you know, known to be helpful and, um, and kind and smiley. I think they call, I think they're called the smiley crew because that's what just we're known for. Just incredible service, kind, helpful, 
crew. Um, and really, and I like also the denim uh, uniforms. It's like I said, you know, low key laid back, but um, very comfortable as well. Okay, so some specs. Um, I know this is important for everybody. So just uh, some some uh, some seat specs for you. So 36 inches in terms of pitch on the premium seat, um, 16 degrees reclining seats, and then 19 uh, 19 inches. Sorry, is the width, the seat width, and then you know the the usual the foot rest and the leg rest and the power and the USB outlets and the headphone plugs and all that good stuff as well. Um, let's see, now the economy cabin. Um, we talked about the 100% um, LED lighting throughout, more spacious luggage bins. Oh, I should mention that. So I don't know about you you guys, but something that, you know, when, when I um, um, traveled a lot for work, I would actually um, board last. I would make sure I would board last because I don't need to be sitting more than I already will be on a plane. Uh, the problem with that is that um, when you board last, you there's never enough uh, uh, there's never enough uh, space in the luggage bins to put your luggage. So you know I would get used to carrying my having this flat tiny backpack where I would you know smush under my seat and it's incredible. I actually tested it. I did the test on a full flight going to Paris with French B and, um, and I boarded last and I had plenty of luggage space. So the, there is really, the luggage bins are huge. More than 150 hours of entertainment, which is also free of charge for um, economy guests and improved air quality all around. Uh, economy cabin spec, so adjustable headrest, 12 degrees reclining seats, 32 and 31 um, inches for the pitch, and then 16.4 um, inches for the seat width. And then power and USB outlets, the headphone plug, and all the good stuff. And then this is just a little seating comparison chart that I that I did because I wanted to see if we were on par with competition. And just take a look at our premium cabin. If you look at the seat width and you look at the numbers, French B, we're at 19, and we are on par with United. We are actually better than Delta. We are on par with Air France, and uh, Air Tahiti Nui is slightly higher. And then if you look at just the pitch here on the economy cabin, the pitch, um, you look at the numbers 31, 32 for French beat, 31, again, we're on par, 31 for United, 31, 32 for Delta, 32 for Air France, a little higher for Air Tahiti Nui. But for the most part, again, as you can see, you know, you're not smushed, you're not, um, it's, it's very on par and there is no quality compromise with um, French B. Okay, so um, the smart cost product, um, where does that come in? So there are a certain amount of add-ons, so you can add on a certain amount of services to the fare. And, um, and basically um, some of those add-ons are um, baggage, let's see, meals, you've got, sorry, seat assignments, priority boarding, um, you've got premium upgrades, if you if you wanted that, you've got onboard entertainment, which actually in this case this is um, the internet uh, internet bundles that you can get um, on board. Skip the line options, lounge access in Paris at Orly. We share a lounge with Air Caraïbes, um, so you can add that, and then the amenity kit, which right now is complimentary when you fly in premium, and which has you know all the things that a uh, uh, premium uh, travel uh, amenity kit has. So the the mask and uh, the little toothbrush set and all that good stuff. Okay, and here is the nuts and bolts of it. For you guys, this is very, this is super important. It's our fare structure. So we do have four 
um, branded fairs, if you will. And um, but actually, the first one, basic, is not available on the GDS because it doesn't include anything. So we quickly realized that that wasn't something that you know travel agents were were selling. So really, the three fairs that are available in the GDS are the basic plus, the smart fair, and the premium fair. Now, the difference in, in terms of service, let's do that first, is um, the basic fair actually includes a meal service, but no luggage, the basic plus. The smart includes both, and the premium includes two pieces of luggage, check luggage, and a meal, and you know the drinks and the champagne which somebody asked me in my first presentation it's funny you know how it is right i had prepared a list of like 50 questions and the 12 questions i got none of them had been i didn't prepare any of them but one of them was is all of your um wine and champagne is all of it on board french and it is all of the um wine and champagne on board is french uh so in terms of uh, cancellation and date change. Well, as you know, that's pretty standard. The lower the fare, the more restrictive the uh, cancellation and date change policies are. So you can see, um, you know, for the basic plus, it's a, a $195 date change fee per flight segment. Um, and then the fare is non refundable, as is the smart one. Uh, in terms of cancellation. The smart fare though is, you can change the date on it. Of course, if there's a, a, a fare difference with the new date, that that um, has to be paid of course, but there's no fee per se to change the date. And then, um, and then same for a premium. And then the actual cancellation fee is a minimal fee of $65 per, uh, per flight segment. So that's, that's kind of basically what what those fares um, are. And then on our onboard additional services, uh, of course we have uh, the, uh, first of all, all of our planes are fully Wi-Fi equipped. So the, the Airbus 350s all have Wi-Fi. And uh, we have four internet bundles. We have um, meaning four different packages with different prices, which are also, very reasonably priced um, in flight catering by um, Blue Cafe, so snacks and drinks and whatnot, and then duty free shopping with, of course, very attractive prices. And then we can also, you can also, if your clients have um, certain dietary restrictions, if they're vegetarian or vegan, um, or whatever the case may be, we can arrange for specialty meals as long as they're booked 48 hours prior to departure. And that about does it, I think. I'm sure, I hope you guys have a lot of questions, um, but just a few uh, contact information. So again, my name is Caroline Leverrier. I'm the sales manager, Wes. I'm based in Los Angeles. And then here today as well, we have um, Katerina Nomenko, who's our sales manager East. So she is located in our New York office. And then we have our um, Suib, who is our inside sales executive. He helps with groups and um, really just more the inside sales aspect of things. But so these are just a few email addresses that you can, uh, you know, write down and um, obviously, you'll have my information as well as Katerina's, but um, yeah, so if you have any additional questions, especially that if in case we're not able to answer all of them, I already see a lot popping up right now, um, that so that you have all of our information. And with that, I hope um, to do business with you soon. I hope that you have many questions that you reach out to me. Uh, please feel free. You have a few people that you can reach out to. And we really, really, really look forward to welcoming you and your clients on board Friendly. Thank you so much for your time. Caroline, thank you so much. It's been an awesome presentation. Um, we got to do our, we gotta do our contest next. So can you ask the question? If, if everyone can stop typing questions just for a moment here, we want to pause that question panel so it slows down for us. Uh, we'll get back to those questions that did, came in, did come in. 
But uh, Caroline, if you can ask the test question or the contest question, and we will watch for the answer. Remember, yeah. you need to type in type in the answer in the question panel. So locate that, and uh, first one to type that in and send it to us will be the winner of a round trip ticket to Paris. Okay, okay. Go ahead, Caroline. Okay, what is the first destination that French B flew to from the U.S.? Okay. Uh, Oh, oh, wow. Okay. Too fast here. Let me see. It's so fast. I can't even. There's so I'm looking, many. <laughs> I'm looking for someone. Yeah, we've got a winner. We do have a winner. I see that right there. Just going to verify that she is the first one. Slow down, everybody. I know. It's so hard. I mean, it's great. It's great. Yes. Okay. I I see. Um, come on, stop. I see Tanya Gilbert. No, yes, that's the first one that came into my feed. Yeah, it, the answer is papiété. It's uh, it's um, the the answer is um, is um, Tahiti or papiété, whichever one papiete. is fine. Yeah, papiété yeah. for Tanya Gilbert. Tanya, congratulations! Yay, we Tanya, have... congrats! <laughs> we have that's your email, awesome. so uh, we have your email, so we'll be reaching out to you to let you know how to, how to go from there. So, okay, Great. so. Caroline, if you and uh, uh, Katarina want to look at uh, questions and answers and see what you can, what you can do with that, sure. Um, Katarina, do you want to do you want to jump in here? Yes. Uh, hi everyone. It was a great presentation. Uh, thank you, Caroline. Uh, my name is Katrina. I was one of the uh, contacts on the final slide that you will also see now. Uh, I'm the sales manager for the East Coast. Uh, let's see uh, if I can answer uh, some of the questions that you have here, the great questions. And if I will miss somebody uh, answering the question for them, we will make sure that we will answer it on the email after the presentation. I just don't want to take a lot of time uh, <clears throat> with the question. I know we're all busy. Um, so let's see. There was a question if we used to fly to Fort Lauderdale and now change to Miami. No, uh, Miami International Airport was the only airport we started flying to, and we opened our flights December 15th last year. So there were never Fort Lauderdale for us. Maybe you confuse us with different airline. <clears throat> uh, where does French B fly out of the U.S.? So out of the U.S., we fly to Paris early, and then we fly to Tahiti. So those are two international destinations that we have out of US from our four gateways, San Francisco, LA, Miami, and New York airport. Uh, any travel partners for using points? Uh, no, at this time we do not partner with any airlines for the mileage or point usage, and we do not have our own mileage or point system. And this is all because we, uh, for us as the airline, it's going to be an additional cost, and we don't want to increase the cost of our fares as we want to stay on the lower fare side of the business. <laughs> Uh, do you keep families sitting with each other or may families be separated on the plane? Uh, this is a great question, actually. And uh, with our flights and with our fares, all seating, uh, three seating assignments is for additional charge, as for the most of the airlines are. And um, we do recommend to for all of the families or big parties traveling together to do the seat assignments before the check-in, before the flights, right after they issue the tickets, because closer to the flight uh, and closer to the check-in time, which is 24 hours of the um, before the flight, the seats are closing in and there is a chance that they will not be sitting together. So that's why we recommend to pay extra $25, but to make sure that everybody's sitting together. Any plans to expand more in the US? Uh, not at this point. We just opened two new destinations last year for us, which is LA Paris and Miami Paris. So we want to make sure 
we can uh, focus on those destinations that we currently serve and uh, take the best advantage of those routes before we open the new ones. Who is your representative for Houston? I mean, Houston is sort of in the middle of US and we have only two of us on the West and East Coast. So please feel free to reach out to me or Caroline. Either way, we will be happy to help you. Um, do you pay commission for agents and if so what is the percentage uh, we do have an agreement with Centrav as they're one of the major consolidators in the US so while or before issuing your tickets you can reach out to their accounting or agreement department and you can check all of the details of that agreement and the commission percentage uh, well, I guess I will wrap it up with the questions. If I missed somebody, I will make sure me or Caroline reply to you in the email. Uh, thank you so much, everybody, for joining. Um, Caroline, Greg, do you want to say yeah, something? We'll, we'll close out. Katerina, thank you so much for helping out with that. Um, so I want to let everyone know that this presentation was recorded, and I will be sending that out to you sometime today or tomorrow. You'll get a copy of this so you can watch it again. A lot of great information. I appreciate both Caroline and Katrina helping us out today with this. It's been a really fun, informative webinar. And thank you everyone for taking time out to join us. So uh, with that, thank have a great you. afternoon and we will we will see you. Thank you Thanks everyone. So Goodbye. Thanks. Bye -bye.